just crossed the street from the Pratinam Mall and now I'm in the area where you have the Pratinam Market Pratinam Market is just a big area with a lot of shops what I said, this is a, whole, a lot of wholesale clothing which is quite interesting again, I haven't been here for ages interesting to see how it is now yeah as you can see most shops are closed and it's a far cry from what it normally is especially considering that this is a Saturday afternoon Yeah, it's actually amazing. I didn't expect it to be this empty. I have to be really honest, I never come here, so I don't know how it normally looks. But I can imagine on a Saturday shopping day that it's different than this. Okay, so I'm gonna walk back now in the direction of the of the Klang boat and I'm gonna head home. If I showed the wrong part of the Platinum market then please let me know in the comments. Because as I said I'm not very experienced in this uh, area. Okay, so I'm on my way to the Klang boat now. I just want to show how to use it. It's, it's very simple. You just go on the boat. You, it's a hop on, hop off. You just go on the boat and then you'll pay. And you just tell them your destination. And I think I have to pay about 12 baht for where I am going. expect me to stop <laughs> yeah it's around one o'clock now this is the Novotel. hotel Yeah, so here's the the Klang boat station. I think the boat is already waiting there. So If anybody asks you to buy a ticket like uh, multiple entry ticket or something that's really not necessary i think there is like a date pass or something like that okay let me hurry a little bit the wires are still connected so i'm gonna catch this one for sure
I said, you you can just pay the guy here. Buy a Sukumit Sip Hana, bro. Sukumit Sip Hana. My Chit Long logo by uh, by Asok. Asok. Like that. Like that. Sip Hana. Sip Hana. I think I have 10 back. I thought it was 12, so it's cheaper. I think 12 is all the way to the Golden Mount, or from the Golden Mount here. I think the boat is waiting for another boat that, that it has to connect with. Oh, Ron Magma. It's very warm. Everybody's running. <laughs> okay, so he's going. Right there you can see there is another boat coming in. So I think he's waiting for the for that boat to unload and then we go. Or we're going already. This is such a nice way to get around. I remember the first time that I tried it, it's just really nice. Yeah, so this is the back of the market. Remember that before I was uh, going to the market? And then here first you have the Chitlong station and then you have a station that connects with um, with the Boomerang Grad Hospital and I'm in the next one. This is a building called the Address Chitlam. We used to rent out quite a few units in here. And this is the back of the now, it's now the Mervenbeck Hotel. It used to be the Swiss Hotel. If I'm correct, this is where Mr. Caradine hung himself in the closet. But, I have to check that out. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Oh yeah, so this is the, the Chitlam station. Oh. This is the wireless road station.
Yeah, so here we're crossing the highway and the train track. Again, the train that, we, that I saw the other day when I went to the Decathlon, this is the train track. But now we go under. Here there's also a whole community of people that live that live on the on the river. I will go past here one time with a bicycle. Very nice. Yeah, I keep feeding you with useless information. But I just find I just find it funny. This is the the Boomerang Grand Hospital. Not this building in front, but in the back. It's a very famous hospital here. It's one of the... Yeah, I would say it's like a five-star hotel. It's amazing. So here there is a, a station. If you want to go to Boomerang Grand. A very convenient way to, to travel. Some people don't like it too much because the, the water is not very clean and especially when yeah when you encounter another boat the water can splash a little bit but as you can see there is this uh, plastic that is protecting this stuff but sometimes that plastic is down and then you can get splashed by water which is not nice I'm out on the next one. As you can see, this is a very local type of transport. Most locals use this. And especially people that work in the center, and for example, live in the Bangkapi Mall, or in the area of Bangkapi, then this is the easiest way to get here. the bridge that I stood up when I was making the 1000 subscriber video so then I just walked past here oh so many places to recognize so I'm almost home it's actually funny from this location where I just got on it's so much easier to go with the boat it's way faster and easier than the, than the BTS even say goodbye to my fellow travelers Bye bye boat. Yeah, so somebody was asking me in in one of the comments and they were saying would you like to make a video about all the discounts and all the tips and all these kind of things in Bangkok and in one way I'm thinking that's actually a nice idea but I was just thinking you know what I will just try from now on in every video that I make I will give a tip uh, that is connected with wherever I am or just general so I can talk about <laughs> about the <you> that Chris <laughs> I can talk about almost everything anything uh, for example, here you have all the little motorcycle guys that can bring you to the um, Asok BTS station, but I'm just going to walk. But what I said, um, yeah, I mean, I can just uh, uh, give information in all the videos and I will just give a tip or I will just give some information about uh, what, what internet plan is good or how you get a phone card and all this kind of thing. And I will just try and cover all the information 
in that way instead of making one video. I know if you make a video with all these tips, it's going to be very popular and probably a lot of people will, will see it. But I think it's nicer to just spread it out. And I was just thinking, if anybody has any urgent questions or anything that they really want to know, feel free to put it in the description and ask me about it. And then I will try and answer it if it's interesting uh, in my next video. Yes, so I am going to leave you guys. I'm actually at NIST here, by the way, for we have quite a few customers that have kids on the, the NIST International School. This is one of the top schools in Bangkok. Anyway, that was just a little side note. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys here and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. So these are the local taxi guys. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, nah. So um, in the streets, I was just ready to shut off, and then I saw this guy coming to me, which is really nice. So in in Bangkok, if you have all the small streets there, you have the motorcycles that can bring you up and down the street. And normally it's a between 10 and 20 baht. And it's the fastest way to get through these streets. Like for example, from here to the Asok station is maybe a kilometer and it's about 20 baht. So anyway, that was one of my tips. See you guys later. <laughs>